So by now you have your lighthouse and waves drawn and you have your lighthouse traced with permanent marker and colored in with colored pencil. The next step you're going to do is draw the designs in the waves in the sky. For the waves you are going to use only cool colors. So cool colors, blue, purple, and green. Um, that means you can also use a light blue or a, a darker blue, a lighter purple, a darker purple, a lighter green, and a darker green. But all different types of blue, greens, and purples. So you're only using cool colors on the waves. And to begin, you're going to trace your designs that you already have drawn for the waves. So you're just going to take, and I'm going to press kind of hard because I want the, that crayon to really show up when I paint it. So I need to press kind of hard, not so hard that you break the crayon but hard enough that the colors show up nice and dark. And trace over those pencil lines. And I have some splashes here, so I'm going to trace over the splashes with my crayon too. And then I'm going to change colors. I want this one to be purple. So I'm going to trace it. Again, pressing nice and hard, but following that pencil line that I drew. Nice and hard, following that pencil line that I drew. And I'm going to switch again to green. I'm going to press nice and hard and follow that pencil line. Trace right over it. Make sure you're pressing hard because then it will help the paint show. I mean, it'll help the crayon show when you paint over it. Oops, I missed the line a little there. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to switch back to blue for the last line. and. It's kind of harder at the bottom. I'm going to turn it sideways in order to trace it. It makes it a little easier for me. I'm going to press nice and hard. Careful not to rip your paper. Careful not to break the crayon. Pressing kind of hard and tracing that line. So then I have all of my waves traced. Now I'm going to create patterns and designs inside these waves using cool colors. And when I do that, I'm going to make sure that I'm pressing hard again with the crayons and I'm going to use lines to show movement in the waves. So the waves already show quite a bit of movement just with the way that they're drawn. But I can use line to add more movement so I can do jagged lines or wavy lines to make it look like the water is really moving a lot or I could do lines straight across to make it look like it's pretty calm. So for mine I think I'm going to start off at the bottom here and I'm going to do I think I'm going to follow the edge of the wave and make it look like it's really, those waves are really rolling. So I'm just going to follow the edge of the wave and just make another line inside of it with the same color I used the first time. And I'm going to go over it, around it again because I want it to be a pattern, so I want it to repeat. So my lines are going to repeat inside my wave. And I'm going to keep going until I have that whole space filled. Keep going and I've got that whole space filled. And then I'm going to do the green space. So in the green space I am going to, I think I'm going to do swirls in my green space. I want it to be kind of a flowing movement that I'm showing with my lines. So I'm going to kind of make curves, curvy waves in here. So it's kind of like the water's just kind of tumbling along, kind of like little spirals. I'm going to repeat that design throughout the whole thing. Keep repeating it until I fill in that whole space with that same color, same design. So I'm going to keep filling it. Again, I'm pressing nice and hard with the crayon so that it really sticks to the paper. I'll create a nice design. Nice design with it. And fill that whole thing up. And then I'm going to switch colors to the purple that I was using here. And for that, I think I've got kind of a flowing thing going on. I think I'm going to make it flowy again. I think I'm actually going to repeat the pattern I used down here and just kind of copy the shape of the wave. Again, you can change it to whatever design you want, whatever lines you want. If you want your waves to look like they're kind of going 
nice and calm. You can do some straight lines going side to side. You could make jagged lines if you want it to seem like it's really rough. You can use flowing lines if you want it to look like your water is just kind of calmly flowing around. I'm going to keep doing this, filling it in. Again, I'm pressing hard with my crayon, filling that in. Pressing hard with my crayon to fill it in. And I've got all that filled in. And then my last space here, I think I'm going to use... Mm -mm. I'm going to use kind of wavy lines but off to the side on an angle. So I'm going to do like this kind of thing. Kind of wavy, wavy lines. Wavy lines going across the paper. Wavy lines. Wavy lines. And again, I'm pressing kind of hard to fill it in. Make sure my crayon shows up nice and dark so that when I paint it shows up. Nice wavy lines. Nice wavy lines. <clears throat> and then I have my designs for my water.